A golden chest. I'm gonna get it this time. Watch! You almost did it. El Guerrero never would have missed the target. You should see all the cool things he does with boomerangs. I doubt he's missed a target before. Throwing with two hands at once, a hundred a minute. In other words, he has wicked talent. I don't have talent. Nor do I. Everything Belle the Artist draws comes to life, even elephants and dragons. And here I can't even get a bird right. See, fly, go on, little bird! <sighs> Either of you guys see a protection field? Mm, no. So the potion didn't work again. Another flask ruined. I wish I could nail these on the first attempt, like Silverstina Bubble Pots does. The first attempt? There's no way our favorite wizards had it that easy way back when they were our age. I wonder if there's some kind of secret to their talent. Hmm. I found it! See here. There's an interview with Guerrero, which says only that the secret to his talent is in... his golden chest? I don't believe it! Now the artist's secret is also in a chest! Silvestina has a chest too! The book doesn't tell you what's in the chest, only that they're in a museum in the Wonder Mountains. But that's clear across Wondermont. <sighs> yeah, I'd forgotten how far that is. Two days on foot. It'd take two days on foot, but on a dragon, just one afternoon! Thank you so much for agreeing to take us, Miss Dragon! If you want a famous wizard's talent, I'm guessing you've got a... Just go sit on their golden chest uh, for a couple days. And to get really talented, a couple of weeks. No, I don't think it's about sitting on the chest or anything. I think you just have to take whatever's stored in it. I'll find out what's in Silvestina's chest and I'll brew the most powerful protective potion ever. What's this I hear? A chest with Silvestina's talent? Mm, with her talent, I could mix up a potion to bewitch the whole of Wondermont, including the school principal. <laughs> Look! We're here! I think I'm more talented already. I think the chests we need are inside. Anybody here? We're here to look at the chests. That's weird. There's not even an echo. Maybe they've gone to lunch? <gasps> so many chests! We'd better hurry if we want to find the ones we need before dark! This one was Firewing the 39th! Oh, look! The Invisible Princess! The Fluttering Master! Oh, wow! The Sun Knight's chest! Every famous wizard had a golden chest. That's so cool! Why weren't we given one? Maybe you get one when you graduate. I doubt it. The Sun Knight didn't even go to school, did he? He went straight out questing. <laughs> El Guerrero's chest! El the artist's chest! Silvestina's chest! Oh, <gasps> Baba Yaga! Hi there! <laughs> Banana fling! Every huh? single one. Thank you for saving our exhibit. I'm the Echo of the Wonder Mountains, and I'm also the guide at this museum. Now tell me which talented wizard is such a good shot with a boomerang? I'm Vasco, but I'm not talented at all. That was just a banana fling throw. 
That's how I used to knock bananas off the trees back home. Hmm. <laughs> and the young creator of living pictures? Oh, I'm Helen. But that wasn't talent. No matter what animal I draw, a living bear is all I can do. <laughs> and the brave potions, master? Daria, ma'am. I'm not anywhere near being a real master, though. Returning potions are all I can manage. I fail at everything else. Did you know that even the most famous wizards in history got a lot of things wrong when they first started out? <sighs> but they practiced again and again. And each of them put all their unsuccessful attempts in a chest. And then one day, when the chests were full... They turned gold, didn't they? So, the chests won't make us more talented? Theirs won't, no. However, your own chest will help you very much indeed. <gasps> a chest! Practice, practice. Put your unsuccessful attempts in your chest. And one glorious day, your chest will turn gold. Because those who work hard... I'm gonna try again. And don't give up. We'll get there in the end. The Genie. Come on, she's getting away. <laughs> This is your last hour. Defend your land. Ooh. <laughs> Beware of evil wizard Rumi. She can destroy us. That is only if she's done running. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. <gasps> oh, no. That's the immortal's favorite face. Uh, do you think he's going to notice? Oh, great. We should not have come in here. We know we aren't allowed to play in his office. Oh, dear. He's not going to be happy when he sees this. <sighs> no more Grunwald's Gardens field trip. He won't see it. I'll do a quick repairing spell. Earth, water, fire, air. They have the power to repair. You oh, did yay. it. Oh, well done, Rooney. That was great. <gasps> <gasps> Who could that be? How <gasps> <gasps> oh, cute. It's a genie. Do you think he grants wishes? Mm-hmm. I call dibs on genie. Listen, I'll wish first. I wish for, uh, no. I wish for that, uh, what kind of wish should I wish for? Hold on, Rooney. There are different kinds of genies. <gasps> oh, no. I think he found something in there and ate it. Oh, that's not good. Who cares? A genie that little could be a big problem. But we don't know if he could become one. Lisa, let's go to the library and mm -hmm. find out how to put that genie back in the vase. You three, find the genie and distract him. And don't tell the immortal. <gasps> he ate my candy! <laughs> my gingerbread as well. Well, yes, he probably hasn't eaten for a thousand years. Here, little genie. <laughs> Have some unpredictable cupcakes <laughs> and dried plumberries. <laughs> this genie's no big deal. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Hmm, he probably went somewhere else to eat. <gasps> the kitchen! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, our little problem's not so little now. Girls, maybe we should tell the immortal everything before it gets worse. And before the consequences get bigger. Here's a consequence for you. There won't be anything left for lunch if the genie finishes off all our soup. Lure him to the greenhouse. It's full of apples. Doma, can you conjure up a delicious red herring? Apples will last him a while. Uh oh. Our little problem's gotten so much larger. <laughs> Want an apple? I've got one here. Get the immortal! 
Turtle! Archie, the drawer is still locked. Do you have the key on you? Shame on you, Archie. Nobody but you could have taken the cookies. So why did you do it? They were his favorite. They had coconut flakes, for the record. It wasn't Archie! The genie ate them! We were accidentally playing in your office and then we accidentally released the genie and then we didn't want to tell you because he was so cute! Okay, reverse spell, stop! Uh There's a genie? The genie from my vase? He'll gobble up our entire stockpile. Okay, Lisa, ready. Pudding, buns, cake! Hey, we figured it out! It's a glutton genie! He's really hungry because he's been hibernating for a thousand years, and he won't go back to sleep until he's eaten all his favorite treats. Lisa, have the tablecloth make some hot cocoa. Mr. Immortal, is this really the right time for hot cocoa? It's not mine. It's to give to the genie. That's always been his favorite. He'll take a sip and go right off to sleep. Mug of hot cocoa! Hmm. Now, back to your home. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Shh! Don't wake him up. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mr. Immortal. The more we hoped the little genie would just keep being small, the bigger that he got. Oh, and it ate our lunch and our dinner. And Archie got in trouble for nothing. The whole harvest disappeared. That's how problems are. The more you try to hide them, the bigger and bigger they get. Like a gluttonous genie. So when a problem happens like this, you should come and tell us right away. Yes, then we can work together to fix whatever it is. Mr. Immortal, I guess you don't want to take us on the field trip to Grunwald's Gardens anymore. After all this... Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> if I didn't, where else would we go to get seeds to replace our harvest? Yay! Wish granted! And we didn't need a genie. <laughs> the Star Globe. That constellation is the giant. Wow, you're right. And that one's the gnome? You got it. Just like it says in the Great Astronometer's book. Then the next one is the big dragon. Amazing! Dario, you have all the stars memorized! Oh, but I know which one is next. See that one over there? That's the small dragon. It's like the big dragon, only it's smaller. Girls, I have your test results. The professor has finished grading your papers. One of you got a perfect score. <sighs> Whoa. Yay! An A+. Plus. Oh, I can't believe I missed two constellations. I'll never become an astronomer like this. I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish tonight make me an astronomer. <gasps> Look, girls, it's the great astronomer's map. <gasps> Whoa! Girls, it's not a normal map. It leads us to different tasks. Whoever completes them all gets the star globe. With that, you can become an astronomer. Really? This is a wish come true. But there's no way I can complete these tasks alone. Girls, can you please help me? I love adventures before bedtime. So, task number one. Find a star shooting up. Huh, easy peasy. Really? You know, shooting stars usually fall down. Even the magical ones. <laughs> then what if we just grab it and throw it back in the sky? Seriously? How would we do that? Wait, girls. I know. They say a star reflected in the magic well flies up into the sky and becomes a real star. Huh. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? That's just a myth. There's no way that this is going to work. <gasps> it worked! It didn't reach the sky. We have to catch it, quickly! Star, wait! We won't hurt you! It flew up! It seems like it led us here. What's the next task? Let's see. It appeared just now. Light up the missing constellation. Over here, on the wall. There are drawings of constellations on the stone. But it looks like one is missing. Well, the lighthouse is in the right place, and so is the gnome. Ah, oh, the mouse in the hole! 
It should be here. Hooray! Now what? You forgot the nose. The constellation's called the Mouse and the Hawk because there's a little star right here in the middle. Oh, it's nose. Your shiny excellence. Would you be so kind as to fly right up here? Third task, go boldly into the cave. Even in such darkness, the stars will light your way forward. Head towards the giant in the sky. Okay, that's clear. Let's go. What's going on? It isn't supposed to get dark. Come on, we need to head towards the constellation of the giant. I think it was the moth, which would be right over there. Oh, way to go, Dorma. After that is the flying carpet and the lighthouse. Whoa! It's so bright in here now. Keep going, Dorma. Let's see, um... There's the wizard's hat, the big dragon, the little dragon, and the giant. Let's go. Are you sure? Oh, flying carpet, lighthouse, wizard's hat, big dragon, little dragon, giant. I'm sure. Quick! Now that's what I call a real adventure. But who's supposed to give us the globe? That would be me. Uh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You are... I'm the great <sighs> astronometer. A giant? So you're the reason the ground was shaking? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare you. Dorma, I'm here to fulfill your wish. This is for you. You can keep watch over the night sky, lighting up new stars on the globe, cleaning old ones, restoring their bright shine, and distinguishing those that fade away. I'm sorry, but there must be some mistake. I looked for the globe because I needed help, not because I could help it. I'm afraid I'd be a bad astronomer. I didn't even ace my test. What if I make a mistake? <laughs> Even the very best of astronometers make mistakes sometimes. That's why I created the Star Globe. If you use it to check your work, then soon you won't be afraid of mistakes, and your wish will be granted. You will be a wonderful astronometer. Dorma, you're already so good at astronometry. You were the one who thought to go to the well. You remembered the mouse's nose. And in the dark cave, you named all the constellations. Girls, then thank you very much, Mr. Great Astronometer. I'll keep a close eye on the stars, that I promise. The Great Astronometer? Yes, I know him. He was my classmate. He's now an outstanding specialist. He always had his head in the clouds. He used to say it was easier to look after the stars that way. Oh, Mr. Immortal, the well's reflection became a star. So I need to add it here, a new star on the star globe. But what should we name it? The answer to that is easy. The real star tonight was you, Dorma. So naturally, the new star should be called... Princess Dorma! The Newcomers Wow! What a heroic painting! I've also got a shield like he does. Beg your pardon, Sir Knight. I usually summon this shield myself, but this time it appeared on its own. <clears throat> Is it broken? I hope the new boys like soccer. I hope not. I dread the notion of the three of you running around together. Don't worry, Daria. They seemed very well behaved, if you ask me. <gasps> well behaved, you say? I'll have you know. We do not walk about the hallway waving shields around here. But the shield popped out on its own. Hmm. What a lack of manners. I planted these sleeping herbs over a month ago. When are they going to grow? Have you tried singing them a growing song? Yes. Watered them with the rainbow? No, not yet. <clears throat> oh. What you need is some magic for the soil. Here. Back in my village, if something didn't want to grow, they would call me. 
Are you sure about this? Magical herbs aren't like digging potatoes. You must be careful. Just don't ruin anything. Please be careful. No! <laughs> now you've done it. It took a whole month to grow them. Please, you have to help us sort all this out. There's nothing to sort out. We didn't want your help, but you forced it. <laughs> Watch out! <gasps> what was that for? It wasn't me. Maybe not. What about you, Levon? I didn't do anything wrong. Heroes don't randomly wave their shields around. But a hooligan would. I'm not a hooligan, I'm a hero. <laughs> In training. Come now, don't argue. It is clear to me that something mysterious is happening here. Do any of you have a suggestion? Perhaps the boys have been cursed. Perhaps. Quite possible. Let's try to detect it. <laughs> Vaki has never been wrong before. There's no curse. Then it was on purpose. We were trying to help out. Oh, yeah? Helping? It's true. Oh, really? It's true? You did do it on purpose. Girls, you're starting a fight again. Are you sure you should? We must not make accusations before we figure this out. We're going to see Mr. Immortal. In the meantime, no more arguing. Hm. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should wait outside. We're just too dangerous for this school. We are? There, see? You're going to make the school fly away. As heroes, it's our duty to save the school from the two of us by becoming wandering wizards. Perfect. We'll wander around in search of adventures uh, and dinner. And so, the boys have gone missing? We've searched the entire school for them, Mr. Immortal. Hmm. Then we must find them immediately. Girls, stay right there. I think the boys must have been offended by us. Why should they be offended? It makes no sense. I don't know. What if they left because of us? Let's find them. But we were told to stay here. I agree. We should go find them. Come on. Did you find them? Not yet. Me neither. <gasps> Girls, look! I found raspberries. Dorma, we aren't here to collect raspberries. Look there, it's a floating rock. All sorts of them. Dorma, don't fall behind. But there are so many floating rocks here. <gasps> Come quickly! I found them. <gasps> what are you doing there? Uh, nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The girls found us. Give me your hand! A real hero doesn't need help! <gasps> you have to leave! It's too dangerous here! Are you listening? Get out of here now! We're not leaving you! Yes, and we're sorry! We know we were wrong! Give me your hand! We'll pull you up! Hey, Vasco! Let them help us! They can pull us up! <gasps> Thank you. That was very heroic of you. Look out, everyone! <gasps> Look! My magic! It's finally working again! Auto magic. It is a very rare magical phenomenon. You see, it happens when a magician becomes very sad. Their magic begins to lose its precision. And that is what happened to the boys. Yes, they lost their friends and their school. So of course they were sad. Exactly. And you girls were not very hospitable to them. Tell us, Mr. Immortal, do the students at this school sleep in trees? Yes, that is correct. And it's a great idea for a surprise. Here. Oh. Make our home your home. I hereby vow to defend Wondermont as my home. I hereby call the top punk. <laughs> <laughs> The Memento Box. Ladies, ta-da! Take a look at this. What is it? Is it some kind of loom? It's a time <laughs> machine. Not a bad guess, but no, let me show you. Thanks, Professor. Take a look at what I have here. This is my very own Memento Music Box. Oh, so beautiful! We made these when I was in school. It's a memento 
that reminds me of my dear friends. I'd love to make a box like that. It's the perfect school souvenir. Exactly. That is why we are working with this device. So you girls can make a memento box of your own. Yes, look. You arrange yourselves up here on the circle. Like so, dressed elegantly. And it would be nice if you all planned on doing something original. What do you girls think we should do to make this memorable? What if we jump in the air? We can line up by height. We can do that and jump. Maybe the main thing is to show our best amazing selves. Hmm. Our best amazing selves. an uncommon dandelion, like this one, a milk flower, and some rainbow berries. The brighter your hair, the brighter the memory will be. Common dandelion, uncommon dandelion. Milk flower, there we are. I think that should be about enough. And rainbow berries. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn my hair into rainbow stripes. Tomorrow, I'll wake up with rainbow hair. <gasps> what happened? Why did my hair turn green? What am I going to do? I'll ruin the memento. No more than one berry, and I threw two in there. The fruit of the hermit tree can help to reverse any side effects. Okay, don't touch anything. I see. The hermit tree will help fix this. I need to go there. Lisa, time to get up. Lisa. Oh, no. <gasps> Girls, look. I think Lisa's gone somewhere. <gasps> it's a map. It looks like an enchanted thicket. Whatever she's up to, it looks like Lisa's in danger. I mustn't touch anything with my hands or my feet. I'm looking for a cone. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. I'll be very careful. Thank you. Here it is. Yes, I know. I'm not allowed to touch anything in the Enchanted Gardens. I only need just one of your lovely cones. <laughs> Oh, dear. Can't you please make an exception for me? <gasps> now what do I do? My hair will be green forever. It's all my fault. The memento will be ruined. Girls, does anyone want some raspberries? Look how beautiful they are. Dorma, you can't touch anything here. Didn't you see the warning? When you are told not to touch anything, don't touch anything! Run! Girls, wait a minute! I need to get a cone! No way, Lisa! You're not going back! By the way, why is your hair green? That's the point! I wanted rainbow-colored hair for the memento! It's supposed to be an amazing memory to be cherished! But my hair turned out not amazing! That's why I came to the forest to try and fix it! And we got scared and came to save you. Yes, and in the end, you saved us. Funny, isn't it? Yes, but I never got a chance to get a comb. Don't be upset, Lisa. We still have our friendship, after all. Who wants a box, anyway? Greeting cards are way better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Don't worry. We'll figure out something for your hair, too. That's enough, Doria. Dorma, stay out of this. Doria knows what she's doing. Drink this. That should do the trick. But it might take some time to work. What if it just makes it worse? I could have green hair forever. Well then, I'll be green too. Yes! Sometimes I even dream that I have green hair. So we'll all be green. It'll be fun playing hide and seek in the bushes. <laughs> Very well then.
Now let's go. Here come our princesses now. I'm sure that you'll come up with something interesting. Apparently. At least Lisa certainly has. Well, are you ready? We did it! Mr. Immortal. How clever. What a bright idea. Whenever did you manage to make your hair so colorful? Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me out of here? There! This will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good! Cut! Rewind! Show it to me! Playback! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? Freeze it! This looks better than I'd hoped. You can turn it off now. All right. Let's see what the school schedule looks like. Ah, good. The magical task generator. Tuesday at 12.45. What is today? Uh... It's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. He'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about is the concentration and release of miraculous energy. Yes! Uh. <laughs> all right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not. Right. Girls. No need to argue. Princesses, this is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better, knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the magical task generator. And the assignment will go to... Rooney and Dari, it's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm. Just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble bottle flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. Hmm. <laughs> now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> the bottle. Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? What a gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh, want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Find us and wind us. <gasps> well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars. Just you wait, brats. Hey, Falcon, Falcon, it's Eagle. Erase that footage. Professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look how daring you've become. Doria, chop the spell, quick. <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no. It shrinks back just as tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Uh, yeah. I'm in charge now. Hmm. Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! <sighs> and girls, you are not to leave. 
Get your camera ready! I'm going to give them a fright! Hey, stop crying! Beg me to set you free at once! <gasps> what? Yeah. I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Uh... Ah! Bind us on there! <laughs> bind us on bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! <laughs> bind us on wind us! <laughs> hey, Hut! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! <laughs> Doria, stop her! Take a deep breath and feel the energy, then push the energy out! <laughs> you can't do it! Don't try if you don't know how! Concentrate! It's only you, your intentions and your power! <laughs> we did it! We passed the level! Doria! Rudy! Is everything okay? Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Papa Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They could be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Squirreled away. 28, 29, 30. Time's up. Ready or not, here I come, girls. All right, then. You did. Uh. You never would have found me. It's only because I sneezed. <gasps> Tag! Got you, Lisa. <laughs> have you tried over there yet, Rooney? Tag! Got you, Doria. <laughs> Did you think I'd take your pine cone? <laughs> I don't eat them. I'd rather have candy, like this. It's all right. There's nothing to be scared of. Chicken legs. Now what do I do? 
Wasn't there a spell about untying knots? How did that go? Was it untie? Unwind? Uh, yes, that's it! Twirls and binds, now unwind! Aha! Please, hurt! <laughs> Let me go! It's not that important for you, is it? to live with me. I've decided to make a school. There are so many things I can... Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Cut that out. If you behave like good little princesses, I'll let you out of the balloon. On holidays. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Smells like a human. <laughs> now, let's see. Oh. Look who it is. <laughs> You escaped. What a useless hut. I can't trust her to do anything. Be gone, old crone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> That's not a spell. No spell <sighs> ends with leave me alone. How ridiculous. All those childish rhymes are useless. Oh. Hey, you. Stop. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come back, you thief. Oh. You, you helped us out of a tricky situation. Uh, twirls and binds, now unwind. <laughs> Girls! Oh, good work! Oh, oh, no, it's great. Great. But it wasn't me. This little one is who you should thank. <gasps> a swell! Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, so cute! <laughs> hey, where are you going? What about me? Please, get me down from here. I won't do it again. <laughs> like a grown-up. Almost there. Hidden by magic lock and key, a room that only grown-ups see. <gasps> there are secret rooms in our school? Yes, we store important documents in here. If they got mixed up, it would cause an awful lot of confusion. <laughs> we might get ordinary sticks instead of magical wands, or schedule exams instead of holidays. That's why this room is for grown-ups only. Amazing! And I thought that I knew every room in this school. Don't forget to water the flowers in the small greenhouse! We have another greenhouse? We do, but it's off-limits to children. <sighs> off-limits to children? I wonder what interesting things they keep there. Rare plants in the greenhouse, ancient spells in the records room. <sighs> if only we were grown-ups. I do need a refresher on the verbs. Is it ne-i-e or ne i -e? It's a shame. If only Marlene could join us for the unicorn language course. Yes, but Marlene is the assistant principal. She can only be replaced by an adult magician. And where would we find one? Me? I could serve as the assistant principal. Or more like, assistant assistant. That is out of the question. Rather, it would be out of the question. But this is Daria. I think she could handle it. You can definitely handle this. The assistant principal doesn't have many responsibilities. Here's a short list. Hmm. Here is the assistant principal's badge and the key to the small <gasps> greenhouse. What are the flowers? But don't let the begonia get out. You'll also need to pick the ripe letters in the records room. The post squirrel will be coming for them. Um, keep an eye on the others. After all, you're in charge. And if anything goes wrong, you can take off the badge. I'll rush right back to help you. No way. I don't need any help. Hello there. I am the adult magician who will be watering you today. 
I hope we grow to like each other. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. Ah, are you the assistant principal? Yes, are you the smile of the closet? No, I'm the records room, Sigh. No time to smile, only sigh. We're very serious here. Letters, invoices, reports. These all require your signature. That's it? Don't you have anything more exciting in here? Like ancient prophecies? And maybe you have a secret encyclopedia I can read? I'm old enough to read them now. <sighs> Give me a moment. The most interesting thing I have to offer you is the manual for a kettle. Like to see? A report on grades. A report on the dishes. A report on reports. Oh, how exciting! We received an invitation to the Songbirds concert. We must respond quickly. They need a list of who will be attending the concert. <sighs> okay, so we have Rooney, Dorma, Vasco, Levan. <gasps> the Begonia! How did it get out? How does Marlene handle this thing? Let me check the manual. Uh -huh. If the Begonia escapes, pour the anti-growth elixir from the red bottle on it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I made a mistake, but I fixed it. Like a grown-up. Not to mention, I took care of the documents. I barely got the letters to the boss squirrel. Too bad we won't all be going to the concert. Even though I would have loved to hear Songbird perform live. Oh, I didn't finish the response letter. Mm, I messed up again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, the Seven League Boots! Daria, Daria! Our kite got stuck and we can't get it down. Can you please help us out? Dorma, I really don't have time for that right now. Don't worry. We've got this. Wind could get it down. What about the storm spell? Oh, this is a speedy postal service. Mr. Postman, please wait for me. I really need to finish writing my letter. <sighs> and now, we can all attend. Oh, I need a break. Somebody, please help us! wanted our kite back, so we used to spell. But the storm got out of control. But why? We're not supposed to use magic. Daria, help us. You're the assistant principal. Well, I... I don't know what to do. Oh, being a grown-up is hard. Marlene, I need your help. Please. Spell gone wrong reverse. Thunderstorm disperse. I'm so sorry. I messed up and couldn't do anything right. That's not true, Daria. You did your very best. You were a great assistant principal. Our class can be difficult at times, even for a grown-up. Actually, I didn't like growing up so suddenly. Not like that. I'd rather take time to grow up. So for now, could I go play with everyone else, Marlene? Of course you can. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> A walk in the woods. First, we'll show them the blue crow's nest. They're sure to like that. And then we'll treat them to the sweetest raspberries. Uh-huh. They'll be so busy licking their fingers, they won't realize they're already at the firefly glade. And here, the frog chorus, along with Lisa, will give a special concert. I hope you all will enjoy it. Oh, of course we'll enjoy it. Plus, they've seen everything at the school. Ten times over. All that's left to do is double-check the root. Want some? Plumberry with a hint of unpredictaberry. Mm-hmm. And if you'll continue this way, here we have the nesting place of the blue crow. It looks like the crow has relocated and took the nest with it. It took the entire tree. Come back! How are we supposed to run an excursion here if the trees won't stand still? These tracks, they're odd. They don't 
look like roots. Maybe Baba Yaga left them. What? I feel a dainty. And elegant. I didn't steal the bird. And besides, I'm having the day off. <gasps> look at that. What is it? Someone's stealing the raspberry bush. Where are you taking our raspberries? We haven't shown them to the boys yet. Whoever that was, he clearly knows his magic and the best spots in our forest. If this carries on, there'll be nothing left to show Levon and Vosco. We have to do something. Dorma and Lisa, you take the Firefly Meadow. The three of us will check the pond. The Fireflies flew away at the speed of light. But look at these tracks. What kind of feet would leave these way out here? <gasps> Roots like feet, knobby knees, you'll find him amidst the trees. I know who it is! <gasps> Who's that? Whoever that is, he can't have the pond. Princesses, let's go! Keep your branches off our pond! <gasps> That's a bog! I'll just squelch back. Well, that was a slick move. Don't worry, how's this for slick? Time for fire. Helen, ready your eyes. Stop! It's Leshy, the forest spirit, the protector of trees and bees. Takes care of the forest, so everyone familiar with forest knows you should make friends with Leshy. Wait here. Ah! He means only good. Don't get too close. What if he eats her? <gasps> Greetings, spirit of the wood. We live as friends as people should. Mm -hmm. A daughter of Woodstream? Lisa Oakengrove. That may be. But why then, Miss Oakengrove, are you and your friends hurting the forest? Actually, we were saving it from you. Oh, from me? <laughs> we certainly weren't hurting it. We weren't lighting fires or burning leaves. Oh, isn't this yours? Predictberry and plumberry. We did drop some litter. Candy wrappers are so small. Could they really hurt this big forest? Didn't I hear you were planning an excursion? Well then, come on. We'll take a walk and I'll show you. Here, all living things are connected. <sighs> the blue crow loves the raspberry <laughs> bush. The raspberry bushes need clean water from the stream. Fireflies love the damp spots near the water. And the stream runs out of the pond. And if candy wrappers fall into the pond, even if it's the most delicious candy in the world, this lovely stream could dry up. And then the fireflies will fly away, the raspberry bush will wither, and the crow will have nothing to eat. That's why I moved the crow to another bush. The raspberries to the stream. And the fireflies closer to the water. Now, do you understand? Yes! We won't ever drop litter in the forest. That's good. Now for Lisa's concert. I would be honored to join the audience if Yay, I let like <laughs> so much stronger <laughs> and when we fight it feels like night oh, we reach oh. other's light so it'll be all right though and one day we'll laugh together yes one day birds of a feather are both here they say you are there in your heart only here to stay forevermore <laughs> Thank you for the concert. Please tell me when you give another. And while I'm not here, I ask you, please, respect the forest. The Good Luck Guardian. Ninety, ninety-one, two, three. <gasps> Dorma, 
Mama, seven, what's the matter? Uh, they say that if a ghost passes through your body, it will take all your good luck with it. That's only if you believe in luck, which I personally don't. You don't believe in it? You believe in bad luck, don't you? No, I don't believe in bad luck either, because if you study hard, you don't need good luck to get an A. In El Dorado, there's a saying that if you bounce a ball 505 times, you'll have good luck all day. And I believe it. 105, 106. Dorman, I won't need good luck to beat you at soccer. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. In the yard, for all to see. Oh, Vosco, you're going to knock a vase over on me. Be careful. Oh. No, 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 no. And are those paintings hung properly? They look like they could fall any minute. Ah! Hmm. I thought I ordered a professor's hat. Oh, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> 132, 133. Uh, uh, oh man, now I have to start over. I saw a horned monster down there. My day's barely started and my luck's already terrible. It's just the professor. <laughs> so, if even the professor is out to scare me, how will I last till nightfall? Dorma, you're gonna be jumping at every single shadow. I think this spell could help you. When you recite the spell and connect the two halves of the talisman, a guardian spirit will appear. It'll drive away bad luck 24 hours a day without a break. All right, I'll give this a try. May this spell protect me, guard me, and defend me. Voila! You'll be completely safe with this guardian. An ironclad guarantee. Thank you, Daria. <laughs> Day. <laughs> and victory will be ours. We'll see about that, won't we? Then want to see something cool? I'll score a goal without looking. A little thing I like to call super luck. Ugh. Dorma, that really hurt. It wasn't me, Vosco. Come on, really? Three against two and that uniform is cheating. We can't play a match against him. Imagine if that hunk of iron steps on your foot. It won't be pretty. Wait there and just stay still. Okay, Vasco, try that again. <clears throat> kind of feels like he doesn't want to listen. He's coming to take a shot at our goal. I think he's after you personally. Stop still. He probably thought Vasco wanted to hit me with the ball. Maybe you should let him go now. Just split the talisman. Do I have to split the talisman? That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll never have any good luck ever again. Well, the ball is clearly on your side now, so I am not going to play with it. <laughs> Make it stop! Guardian, no! Stay! Bad Guardian, that's enough! <laughs> to the school. He won't get us there. Tired out. Deflated, even. Uh, I liked him a bit more as the ball. Vasco, run! I'll hold him off for you! is bad luck, even in Eldorado. You've got enough bad luck as it is! I'll split it myself! <clears throat> Why are you doing acrobatics with the bear? Hang on, Vosco. I'll save you! Oh, I'm going to fall down! 
Bosco, go ahead and split the talisman, please. Great. Let the bad luck begin. Nothing's beginning. All these superstitions about luck, they're not real. You bounced that ball 500 times and weren't lucky at all. Yeah, I wouldn't say today was a lucky one. <laughs> and Dorma had a rough time with the Guardian. And it was all because I summoned him, thinking he'd solve my problems for me. But now I'll handle those troubles on my own. All with the help of my awesome friends. I'm glad to hear that. As wizards, we believe in many magical things and powers. Like ghosts, spells, even Baba Yaga. But luck shouldn't worry you. Hey there, Archie. <laughs> <laughs>